Today we're going to print our photos and uh, some text and we're going to print them with a homemade gel plate. First we're going to see how easy it is to make a gel plate and then we learn how to use it, mostly in order to print images. So we're going to start with half a cup of vegetable glycerin. Next we need 28 grams of gelatin, which uh, in this case it's 4 envelopes. And simply mix them in with the glycerin. Later on I will show you a vegan solution. Now we're going to add one cup of hot water to the mix. And that's pretty much all you need. And we're going to pour our mix into this 8x6 tray. If you see that you have some foam on top of the liquid, you can skim it off the surface with a piece of paper. Okay, so now let it set for about 8 hours. And if you're interested in a vegan option, you can use agar agar instead of the gelatin. So 28 grams of gelatin will equal 2 spoons of agar agar. And you also need to let it boil over the stove for about 4 minutes. When it's ready, you can release the gel plate from the tray. This is what our gelatin plate uh, looks like. It's quite soft and flexible. And this is the vegan one I made from Agar Agar. It's flexible, but somewhat firm. I like to press my uh, gel plate down so it sticks to the acrylic and I can use it almost like a stamp. For our first trial of this plate, I'm going to use Mars Black. And I'm going to use a lovely photo from Portugal, which I printed with my laser printer. And I'm going to print it directly into my journal. Now I'm going to use my brayer to spread the paint over the gelatin plate. And I'm going to place the plate down onto the photo and apply some pressure with my hands. I think it's not ready yet. Okay, that's much better. And now I'm gonna place it like a stamp into my journal. I'm using a clean brayer to apply pressure and help the image transfer onto my journal.
Now let's try something more ambitious. I'm going to begin by transferring this text and then try to layer this image over it. I'm going to use light blue for the text. As you can see, I print the text uh, on both sides of the paper and I do it in order to save on paper. Now let's print our photo over the text. And for the photo I'm going to use raw amber. Now let's print this photo and this time we're going to use three different paints. And finally, let's create layers of text and colors and a photo.
Now we need to select a photo that will work with this background. I'm sure these all are gonna look great, but I'm gonna select the tree. So more of the background will show through. And I'm gonna use Mars Black for the photo. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in my books and online classes, check out the links below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.